<sighs> what's up guys and welcome back to another video today's video is going to be giving the s2000 a little different look and you guys might be wondering why the s2 is not in here or the grom so let me get into that really quick so my father-in-law's fucking tranny blew up and these niggas about to swap it i just get rid of this fucking car because this shit just went through like three trains already but um, I'm going to be putting on this bucket seat onto the S2000 right here. If you guys remember or OG subscribers, you guys do know this was on my Integra. Really like to see really comfortable carbon fiber back. I'm going to be installing that into the S2. Uh, um, the reason why I'm installing this one and I'm going to get an OEM seat is because they're just too, the brides are just way too small. And I just want to change up the interior a little bit. Um, and I think having a black interior be kind of cool with the green Tricotta and then just having one stock seat I think it'll look cool probably gonna be grabbing a new steering wheel as well and then that carbon fiber trim piece inside um, the uh, ship boot that would look cool too so I don't know give it a kind of more chill look gonna be rocking the AP2 bumper too the one that Chris had on his S2 probably gonna spray can rattle can the hood and that and then get a CR lip and see uh, when I paint it well, let me get the bucket seat and let's go get ready to install this, guys. So here's the Grom. Here's the bucket seat on the floor. Let's see, look at that carbon. And then these are the seats I'm going to be swapping out. Oh, damn. So they're red brides. They're wraps. Um, they look cool and all, but I'm going to get an OEM and then just a bucket seat for that. Um, just to switch up the interior. And then if I ever miss the red, I'll put back the red gonna be changing this as well probably just removing it for now until i get that carbon trim piece in there but yeah guys so i'm gonna drop the top so i can remove these bucket seats just for a bowl should be easy nothing crazy let's get it all right guys so bucket number bucket seat number one is removed i already took off the harnesses right there here's the bucket seat gonna be leaving the rails on this one so I'm gonna be getting a stock seat on offer up for like 50 bucks, not the best looking one. But for now I'm gonna ride without just one seat in here. Um, and this one, I'm gonna be removing the whole seat then putting the brackets onto that one. Mm, yeah, let's get into it guys. And then I'll probably, I don't know, go keep those, uh, those Takata harnesses on. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do, but let's go, let's get it. Damn, look at the S2 and the M4. It looks so good. Oh, right. I'm going to put it on right now. I'm putting I'm putting this. Yeah, right here, man. Yeah, I'm telling you, the punk-ass police ain't catching me no more. Did you, uh, you drove it yet? Yeah, I drove it. I drove it like, uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I took it to the shop so they could uh, tune it and stuff. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they tuned it. They fine-tuned it. Put their little fine things and everything. Mm -hmm. And run good as a motherfucker. Damn. Yeah, man. They ain't catching me. Police ain't catching me no more. They ain't catching me no more. They just gonna see them tail lights. They just gonna see some red, the, the red devil, the red demon. I know, man. All right, now. All right, guys. So I got the uh, other seat out. Just gonna be switching on the. Uh, Buddy club brackets onto that one. And then here's the M4. Mm. God damn. Brand new oil cooler is already collecting dirt. But yeah, guys. I want to vacuum this shit, but god damn. Can't find the fucking uh, the extension cord. Let me find the extension cord so I can vacuum it up. This motherfucker is broken. I had to tape it up. Looks ghetto as fuck. All right, guys, so the brackets are now on the Tom's Motorsport seat. I honestly don't know what kind of seat it was. I was selling it, but it just fits so clean. I love it, how it fits. Carbon bag. It's a little fucked up, but, hey, it's cool. I just love this seat, to be honest. And, you know, this seat was – it looks a lot more sharper, too, as you can see right here, like sharper cuts. It reminds me of a Recaro. This one's more of like like that. I don't know. I'll probably sell these. I'm not too sure. I mean, if someone hits me up, but I mean, I think you could buy them like brand new for 600 bucks. But I don't know. 
I might sell them, I might not. Might keep them for the next project. Who knows? I'm gonna be putting this CD on. Cause I do, I'm so always trying to switch the interior out. I'll probably get bored of the black and go back to the red. I don't know. I'm all over the place, guys. So I guess, so what's up guys? I didn't get to end yesterday's video just because I, a lot of people were talking to me about the car. Uh, people kept passing by homies and shit they want to talk to me but here's the final look of how the car sits now it looks good in my opinion um no seat until i get the stock one which would be this weekend um i think it just gives it a cleaner look like you know the red is cool too but i'm gonna be removing that red shit leaving it black or having it none at all i think it just looks a lot cleaner in my opinion the red is cool too as well like you know red guts are always sick but you know i'm just gonna keep it like that guys but i wanted to end today's video so i hope you guys like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one